Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video I will be sharing with you an Aldi grocery haul in addition to our meal plan for the week. What I'm going to do is include a picture at the end of my receipt, so in case you're curious about any of the prices. I know though that they can vary regionally. None of this stuff unfortunately was a huge, huge deal with the exception of a ceramic uh, cooking pan that I'll talk about in a minute. To start with the produce, I love, love when they have spaghetti squash. They don't have that all the time. So this thing is humongous. It was under $2, I believe, and will probably last us at least a few meals. So that's pretty nice. I also saw a couple of pomegranates. These look pretty ripe, so they're bound to be sweet and we'll enjoy them for a few breakfasts this week. Also bought this big pack of scallions some organic green bananas. These were on sale for 49 cents a pound. Also the red grapes. The red are our favorite usually. And I also bought a package of Brussels sprouts. These were pretty inexpensive as well. Some acorn squash. Love this during the fall especially. And the pineapple, I was gonna buy fresh pineapple, but one pineapple was something like four or five dollars. I couldn't believe it. So I ended up getting this. This was on special, I believe. So it's a pretty big bag of pineapple chunks. I'll be putting this into a salad. Also a bag of green pears. And for some beverages, a big thing of almond milk. And also I'm going to try this coconut water. This is an Aldi product. And I believe it was $2.99. I was trying to rack my brain to think of how much Zico coconut water typically is, but as far as what I can remember, I believe it is definitely more than $2.99. So I'll be giving this a try. And it does say it's pure 100% coconut water on the back. So I like that. I bought this package of artisan lettuce. This is a favorite um, staple of mine. This was $1.99 for the package. The celery was under $2.00. And I decided to try their Boulder All Occasion Napkins. These are dupes for the Vanity Fair ones. There's 100 of these in here and it was something like $1.59. So I think this is a better deal than the packs that you can get at the Dollar Tree that are of similar napkins. One of the most expensive items of this haul is um, this container of unsalted whole cashews. This was $10.99, so pretty expensive relatively speaking, but this will last us uh, through the month at least. Also the broccoli crowns were on sale for around a dollar, I believe. And I wanted to try their Boulder Smooth Slide uh, Court Storage Bags. There's 22 in here. And I think this will be easier to use than the Ziploc bags for my daughter's lunches. She's been having a really tough time. So until we can work on her fine motor skills a little bit more, we'll try the slider bags and see if she has an easier time at lunch. As I said earlier, this was one of the more expensive items. This was a specialty item that they had in the ad. It's the ceramic frying pan, and they had this with a black handle or a green handle. Uh, I really like ceramic frying pans. I have had them before. This should work pretty well, I'm guessing. For the meat, this was not from Target. I was just reusing the bag. I bought some chicken breasts and also some ground turkey. I also was going to try to make like a main salad um, with either lobster and blueberries or crab and blueberries. Unfortunately, their blueberries at Aldi were almost $5 for a little container, not even like a big one, like a, a, a like a half a pint. It was, it was, I don't know, I could not believe it. So I'm going to use this along with a pineapple instead to make some kind of salad. Also got some sliced Swiss cheese, a 24 pack of purified water. 
I have tried their sparkling water before and decided to get it again. So this is the white grape, the strawberry, and the juicy peach. And I've never tried the smaller ones in the can though, I don't think. So I'll be giving this one a try. This is the lemon sparkling water flavor. I'm hoping it's kind of similar to the La Croix grapefruit. Crossing my fingers that that is the case. All right, so meal plan for the week. Sunday, we are having the pineapple crab salad. That'll be with the artisan lettuce. I think I'll actually cook the crab in some seasoning first to add a bit more dimension to the flavor um, because that imitation crab can be kind of dull tasting sometimes. Uh, we'll be having that with some toast. Monday will be cashew chicken with broccoli, uh, kind of a stir fry. Tuesday will be acorn squash. Again, I know I eat a lot of acorn squash. We love that in the fall. Uh, that will be alongside some grilled cheese. Wednesday will be some bruschetta. Thursday will be turkey burgers. We have some leftover from GNC still that we need to use up. So I'll be using that there. And I might actually use the rest of those turkey burgers in some kind of stew or chili. Um, I don't know, they're not the best turkey burgers, but if you can season them and such, then they're not so bad. We'll be having that with the yellow squash. And then Friday and Saturday, I will be making a turkey chili. I had just hauled a bunch of beans from Kroger. Uh, we are well stocked up now. That will last us two dinners. If it doesn't last us a second dinner or not a full second dinner, then we might end up going for um, Mexican on Saturday night. So that is it for this meal plan for the week. Someone had commented about a dish that they are doing with squash and apple. That really sounds delicious. So I might try to concoct something myself um, in a future dinner, so we'll see. But thank you to who commented on that because um, I'm looking for more ideas regarding some of the fall stuff. So squash, cinnamon, cloves, pumpkin, you know, whatever it may be for the fall. Anyway, that is it for this meal plan. I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Let me know of some new recipes you are trying and thank you so much for watching guys. Take care.